This is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do another Wild Eye Wednesday. Uh, today I had the pleasure of viewing Cold Ground. I love that cover. It's just so cool. Now before I get into my review, I wanted to take the time to thank Wild Eye for providing me with this copy to review for you guys. They have a tremendous company. And I know I've said this a lot of times before, but they do give filmmakers their start. Young filmmakers. Filmmakers that are the future of horror. They have hits, they have misses, but generally speaking, I do like their catalog, and I am a fan of the company. Now, Cold Ground is a 2017 film, which runs approximately 88 minutes, and is written and directed by, and I'm probably going to butcher his name, uh, Fabian Delage. This, of course, stars Doug Rand as Blake Turner, Gala Basson as Melissa, and Philip Schooner as Gunter. Um, this movie is done found footage style, and I am not the biggest fan of found footage, just to put that out there. I actually thought this movie was fantastic. Now, this is actually the second time I watched this film. Uh, the first time I watched it was around Christmas time, and I watched it downstairs, and I know I've said this many times, but my wife is not a horror fan, and she happened to be downstairs when I was watching it, and she just got sucked into this movie, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, like I said, this is done found footage style, and this is about a group of people in the 70s, uh, 76 to be exact if I'm not mistaken, who are... And this is how they kind of break down. There are basically two French people. Uh, one is a kind of a reporter and one is a cameraman. There is a police officer from the United States. A, I think he would be called a guide. And I believe he is um, from Switzerland. And a animal biologist which is a girl from the UK. Now, they are basically up here uh, going towards the French-Swiss border where there is a kind of a... Um, how do I put this? Kind of like a camp that has been up there to investigate uh, cattle slaughter of farmers in the area. Now, the cattle go missing. Um, there was a horse that had gotten slaughtered, and that's kind of where the, uh, the American police officer comes into play because there was a, a horse that had typical, that was almost identical to the slaughter as in France, which sounds kind of weird, but when they explain it, it's very believable. Now, they're trekking through the, basically through the snow and through the woods to get to the base camp to, you know, to investigate the missing cattle. And it takes about three days to get there. Well, towards the end of their hike through the woods, uh, they start getting attacked. And I'm basically going to leave it there. Um, this is a high recommendation for me. This is a fun movie, it's very tense, very well acted, and if you really don't know any better, you could swear that this is from the 70s. Like I said, this is a found footage film, and of course in the beginning, they do like a lot of other found footage films and explain how uh, this was made in 76, but they just found it now, and you know, yada yada yada, and it's been digitized and, you know, is available for the first time you know, to the public. But I'm telling you, they did a great job with this. I'm very interested to see what this director is going to do next. Um, I think he has a promising, promising future. 
I'm going to give this one an 8. And usually with Wild Eye titles, I tend to grade on a curve. You can't really grade uh, independent horror the same way you can grade uh, mainstream horror because they don't have the budget. It's like comparing apples and oranges. It just doesn't work. But this is actually an 8 by normal terms. So that just kind of tells you how good it is. I just had a great time with this. And my wife actually liked it too, which was very surprising to me. So definitely check this one out. Um, I'll leave the link below to Wild Eyes um, website and YouTube channel. And I just wanted to thank them again for providing me with this copy to review. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.